Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaScript tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can install Notepad++ which is a code editor for JavaScript or Eclipse IDE for developing your JavaScript project. So first of all, let's see how we can install Notepad++. So just open your browser and search for Notepad++ and the first option most probably will come here will be from uh, notepad-plus-plus.org. You can directly click download uh, option from here and in here they have uh, the download option for uh, Windows as an installer. So you just need to click this uh, Notepad++ installer and you just need to run the installer. Okay and once the notepad plus plus is installed you just need to search for notepad plus plus and it's going to look like this okay now to make a html5 here you just need to create a new file and then right click on it and then save it as a html file okay so just choose hypertext markup language from here and give the name to your file for example test.html okay and save it and here you can write your code for example my code looks like this which we have uh, seen in the last video and to run this first you need to save it and then go to this uh, option called run and here you will be able to see uh, some options depending upon the browser installed on your system so it says launch in firefox internet explorer chrome or safari so we want to do it in firefox so launch it in firefox so choose this option and it's going to open this in firefox okay so this is how you can install notepad plus plus now let's see how we can install eclipse ide on our windows operating system so to install eclipse ide you need to have a java jdk installed in your system because it's a prerequisite for installing eclipse ide now you just need to search for uh, java jdk here and just click the link which says oracle.com okay so go inside here and here you need to choose this option which says java download and once you click here you need to click this uh, radio button which says accept license and condition and you need to install or download the installer which says x64.exe which is the last option we can see right now if you have 32-bit operating system you need to choose x86 which is the second last option from the top or if you have some other operating system like mac os or linux then you can choose those here as well once this executable file is downloaded you just need to double click on it and run it and it will probably take few uh, seconds or few minutes to install it and after installing you will be able to see uh, in your uh, c folder of your windows operating system there will be a folder called program files and in the program files you will be able to see this java folder and here you will find two uh, folders one is jdk and other is jre you can even change the name of uh, these folder because w when they were installed on my system they were something like jdk 8.1 whatever so i changed the name uh, to this jdk 8 and jre and once uh, you change the folder name you can go to your search option of, for windows and uh, then search for system here okay and for after installing java jdk you need to set the environment variable for uh, java so that eclipse id can recognize this java okay so go to system then go to advanced setting and in the advanced setting go to environment variable and in the environment variable you just need to go to this uh, system variable called path and double click on it and in here what you need to do is you just need to uh, copy the path where your uh, jdk folder is so just go inside this jdk8 folder and then go inside this bin folder okay and uh, th then copy this path from here and go at the last and give the semicolon and paste this path up to bin okay so i have already uh, done this so i will not do it again but you need to do it here 
and the same you need to do it with JRE folder. So go into the JRE folder and then go to bin folder and copy the path and go at the last give the semicolon one semicolon here and then paste the path here. Okay. Once you do that, click OK and OK and OK. OK. And now your environment variables are set. Now after installing Java and setting the environment variable, you need to go to the Eclipse website, which is eclipse.org slash download. Or let's see how is this homepage looks like for the Eclipse IDE. So you will be able to see this homepage like this and then you can just click this download button which will lead you to this page. Now you can see here uh, they have introduced the Eclipse installer recently so you can choose this installer and you don't need to worry about uh, anything so just click for this installer for example 64-bit installer and download it and install it and it will ask you which version of Eclipse you want to install. So there are uh, different type of Eclipse uh, available on this website. For example, Eclipse IDE for Java EE, Eclipse IDE for Java Developer, Eclipse IDE for C++, Eclipse IDE for PHP. The one we want is Eclipse IDE for EE developers. And when you see the description, you will see here that uh, it can be used for de web development and you can use it for HTML or JavaScript uh, projects, right? So I will prefer to choose this option and uh, depending upon the operating system, I will choose 64-bit because my operating system is 64-bit. And once you click this, you will be able to see, uh, you know, different option to download, okay? So you can see the one which is closer to my location is this one so i can just click this option download and it will be downloaded to my computer if you want to uh, get it faster you can see here there are different links so for example i can choose this ibm source from here and click this download button and from here you can just click the 64-bit version and it will download a uh, eclipse zip file okay so once you download this eclipse zip file it's going to look like this so you just you just need to extract this zip file so extract file and i would like to uh, extract this file in my c folder so extract it in your c folder and once you extract this eclipse uh, folder in your c folder you go to this uh, eclipse folder here and it's going to look like this the contents are like this okay so this is our executable which opens eclipse ide you can just right click on it and you can send it to your desktop as a shortcut also so send to desktop and it will create a shortcut and if you want to open this Eclipse IDE, you just need to click this eclipse.exe uh, file here. So just double click on it and it's going to open Eclipse IDE. So for the first time when you open Eclipse IDE, it's going to show you this option to create your uh, workspace. Workspace is nothing but the location where all your project will be saved. Okay, so leave it as default and click OK. and it's going to open your Eclipse IDE. Now for the first time when you open Eclipse IDE, it's going to give you this kind of a welcome message, which you can uh, cancel from here. And to create a new project, what you need to do is you need to go to file and go to new and choose project from here. And in here you have two options to create a JavaScript project. One is go to the JavaScript and select JavaScript project. Or other one is go to web folder and select static web project for now. So for now I'm going to choose this static web project and click next. And now I'm going to give the name to my project. For example, test project for example. Okay. And now you can just click finish. And it's going to create you this project. Now you can open multiple uh, project inside this Eclipse IDE. You can see one I was already using. So I can right click 
on this project which I was using and I can close this by uh, selecting this option close project okay and it's going to close my project okay or if you want to delete this project from this project explorer you can right click and click delete and if uh, you click OK, it's going to delete it from this project to Explorer, but it's not going to delete it from your uh, hard disk. OK, so in order to uh, delete it forever, you just need to check this option and it's going to delete it forever. OK, now this is my project here and it contains one folder called web content, which is empty. So I will right click on it and I will create a new HTML file here and I will name it as for example test.html and click finish and it's going to create me the HTML file okay now this uh, Eclipse IDE gives you the inbuilt web browser to test your code okay so you can just go to the location where this text.html is inside the web content folder right click on it and then go to open with and then click web browser and Eclipse has its own web browser which you can use to uh, run your code so for example I can add some JavaScript code here for example script and as we have uh, done last time we are going to just add document here dot write and we can just add hello world and save your code and refresh this web page and it's going to give you this hello world output here okay so in this way you can install notepad plus plus or eclipse ide to create your new javascript project now you can choose either of them i will be using this eclipse ide but if you wish you can also choose this notepad plus plus editor so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and 